guys, it's Mrs. Blue, back with another art lesson. I'm going to start a little different today. Do you see this? It says, top secret, top secret. If your mom is in the room, make her leave. Say, mommy, out. Today's lesson is top secret. Okay, I'm going to wait a minute. Okay, is your mom out of the room? No, okay, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Tell her, Mrs. Blue is saying you have to leave. Okay, is she gone? Okay, Sunday is Mother's Day. I thought today we would make something special that you could give to your mom on Sunday. Shh, don't tell. Okay, so before we start that, let's do our golden paintbrush winner. All right, so let's move this out of the way. Today, drum roll, please. Our golden paintbrush winner today is Chulin Lee. Check these out. I mean, those birch trees and those koi fish are outstanding. Chulin is such a good artist. I am so sad that I'm not teaching her in the classroom right now because holy cannoli, those are amazing. Good work, Chulin. I hope you log on and complete more art activities with us because these are great. Okay, so Chulin is our golden paintbrush winner today. And now I talk to you about the secret. Today we are going to make special art that looks like this for our mom for Mother's Day. This is the song you are my sunshine. Mrs. Blue painted this beautiful sun and then I wrote the words to you are my sunshine around the sun two times for your mom because she's your sunshine. What does she do? She makes you happy when skies are gray. Okay. So today, for the lesson, you need a white piece of paper and you don't even need a pencil or an eraser. Just markers, crayons, or Mrs. Blue's going to use watercolors. I'm not even going to draw. How about that, you crazy kids? Okay. So, in the middle, I'm going to start by painting the center of the sun with yellow. Watch. Today, we're going to do kind of wet on wet technique. It's called wet on wet. So, I don't say this very often, but today, you want your paints to be pretty wet. So, I want this circle to be pretty wet. I'm even going to put a little more water on top of it. But I don't want my paper to rip. And I'm trying to make the circle in the center. Now I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to get some orange and I'm just going to dab some orange around in this beautiful sun. More orange and now it's like wet paint on wet paint. Now I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm getting red. And I'm going to go around the edge. You don't see that wet on wet technique? See how it's blending? Look at that. Okay, that's the center. That's going to take a while to dry. That's okay. Okay, now we need a certain, um, certain amount of rays on the sun to write our verse to the song. And I actually forgot and I don't want to do the wrong amount, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so we need to paint sixteen wet on wet technique 
rays to the sun. We can do it. Here we go. We're going to paint like this. It gets wider on the outside and we're going to sloppy paint today, right? This wet on wet technique. I'm going to paint two rays and I want them to go all the way to the edge. Then I'm gonna stop, rinse my brush, and get some orange. Because if I painted more rays to the sun right now, these two would dry and these colors would not blend in as well. So I'm just gonna do two at a time. And we have to do 16, right? We just counted together. Ooh, I'm just using red, yellow, and orange, those three warm colors, warm just like the sun. So there's two. Three, all the way to the edge. Four, and remember I said we're just gonna do two. Like so. And then, I like to add a little red to really make it look fiery. Two more. Please don't take my sunshine away. I'm going to have to send this in the mail to my mom. I don't know about you guys, but my mom is my twin. I never thought I looked like her. And then I got older and older, and now we look like twins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. And we're doing 16, so eight is halfway. And look, looks like I'm about halfway done. That is perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. That's about half of my paper. That worked out quite well. Now, some orange. And some red. And rinsing out my brush before I use yellow again, right? We don't want that yellow to get all icky. Keep it looking nice and yellow. Okay, so one, two, three, four, eight. Now I need eight more. One. Two at a time still. Two. Nice and wet today, we want our paper. Really blends in like fire. One, two, six left. I wore flowers on my dress today, little Minecrafty type flowers. Because maybe you go outside and pick a few flowers, wild flowers for your mom for Mother's Day. Oh, I already used orange. Ooh, ooh, so pretty. I think I have four left. Should we get lazy and squeeze in all four? One, two, three, four. Ooh, I didn't leave very much space for the last four. I forgot to do a skinny one. Two, three, four. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to get a little bit of blue. And in between each of these rays, I'm going to paint some blue. Just simple. I don't have to fill it in perfect. 
right? It's supposed to look kind of abstract, impressionistic. Please don't take my sunshine away. Please don't take my sunshine You guys know the special thing about Mother's Day is you can give this to any lady in your life who is like a mother figure. So if your aunt takes care of you, or if you have a stepmom who you love so dearly, by all means, make this for her. This is her day on Sunday, right? Okay, now, this is very wet. So I want to set this aside to dry because we cannot write on it with a marker until this dries. So I'm gonna set mine aside. You guys are gonna have to stop the video and you're gonna have to come back into the room when your sun is dry, right? Okay, so I'm gonna set my dry one here to dry, and by the magic of television, I have a dry one right here. Presto changeo, bam, bam, bam. Now, I'm gonna take a black marker. You could use any color marker you want. It does not have to be black. And we're going to write the verse to You Are My Sunshine. So I'm gonna start kind of right here on this side. And I'm going to write, you are my sunshine on this first one. That's a lot of letters. So you have to write kind of small. I recommend using a pencil first and tracing it with marker. In the interest of time, I'm going to write it directly with a marker. I think you should pick up a pencil right now. Write it with me with a pencil. And then when we're done with the video, go over top of it with a marker because I don't want you to make a mistake, okay? Here we go. You can write any way you want. Let's zoom in so you can see these letters nice and close now. Okay, here we go. You can write uppercase like this, lowercase, switch it up, doesn't matter. You are my sunshine. And then I'm gonna draw little sun like this. The next phrase is, let's go this way, my only sunshine. My my only sunshine. Make sure you guys can see that. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy. And if you're younger, and this is a lot of words for you, just write, you are my sunshine on one of them and leave it. Maybe you could write, you are my sunshine here, you are my sunshine here, and then stop. No one says you have to write the whole verse, right? But if you're a little bit older, take time, write the whole thing because, I'm gonna move my water. If my water spilled right now, it'd be bad. Um, because it looks cool. You make me happy when Skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, ah, I about didn't leave enough room. Ellipsis, I'm going to do three dots. You'll never know, dear, how much I do a heart. Love you. So please don't take my sunshine away, dot, dot, dot. Then let me show that up close. I'm gonna show this right here. I'm gonna go slow so you can see and you can pause it when you need to. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. 
You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. That's K-N-O-W. Look how sloppy. How much I love you, so please don't take my sunshine away. Then you just rewrite it a second time. Take a look at the completed example. Oh, look, I put a smiley face here too. Let me make sure you can see the whole thing. So you can see all the letters. Still can't quite see the whole thing. I really want you to be able to see all the letters. There, that's pretty good. So I turned it and went upside down. And then I started here and wrote it again. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy all the way around. And I put a little smiley face there. I don't know if I already said that. So this turns out so nice. I know if I were a mom, I would want this. So you guys, don't forget today's lesson. Shh. Top secret. Don't tell. Okay. Save it until Sunday. Don't give it to your mom until Sunday. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day.